ASM. Whoo! I'm out of breath, dude. Uh, yeah, me too. I can't believe you made me hold that that long. Well, at least our hair still looks good. Very, very true. Hey, speaking of hair, that's like our show today, huh? Yes, it is. Now on to news. The famous painting, Red Composition by Jackson Pollock, is being auctioned off today. The piece was donated to the museum in 1991, and the Museum Board of Trustees unanimously decided to sell the piece last month. The piece will be held in New York City by the Everson Museum of Art. The painting will sell for 12 to 18 million. 40-year-old Michael Konech was arrested this weekend with charges of sexual abuse for paying a nine-year-old girl $5 for a hug. Not only did he pay her for a hug, but he also grabbed her buttocks and offered her $20 for a kiss. Documents of, from the Syracuse police say this had occurred around 2.30 p.m. on Friday at 713 East Division Street. The nine-year-old was also with her eight-year-old friend who was told by Kanesh to go upstairs while this all happened. Throughout the pandemic, there has been a record of wave deals. Between July and September 37, 37 deals worth $5 billion each were made. Many companies experienced the growth in their business after the summer lockdown ended. Recently, the Japanese over owner of 7-Eleven said he would buy the Speedway chain of gas stations for Marathon Petroleum for $21 billion. Many private companies have also experienced growth leading to more private deals. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Students who, ran, who plan to run for office, your recorded speeches are due by the end of the day on Wednesday, October 7th. Speeches will be aired on October 9th. Make sure when you record your speeches that you hold your device sideways. Any questions, contact Mr. Hart at R Hart, M Hart, sorry. Nope, that's R Hart, at ASMSchools.org. The weight room will close at 445 on Tuesday, October 6th. Please have your rides and plan accordingly. See Coach Ash Bosher for any questions. DECA will be holding a virtual membership meeting on Wednesday, October 7th at 3.30. This meeting is for anyone interested in joining or learning more about DECA. For more information, visit the DECA Google Classroom at DKMHHR6. DECA is not just a business and marketing organization, it's a family. It is a community of leaders. It is a world of opportunity. DECA is a place where you can make lifelong connections. Where you can prepare for your future. And where you can become the best version of yourself. How are you doing today? Well, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. 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 DECA members are ready. Ready for a challenge. Ready to innovate. Ready for the future. And ready to go to the next level. If you have any questions or cannot attend the meeting, please see Mr. Anzalone or Mr. Mussolino in B4. JV football will begin its fall practice program today, October 6th and four, from 4 to 6 p.m. on the upper JV football field. Please see Coach Smith or Coach Twitchell with any questions. So, as I'm sure you're all well aware, oh shoot. I didn't realize what was going on. Whoops. Is it going, oh shoot. <laughs> they didn't put weather there. No, that's wrong. So, as I'm sure you're all well aware, different hairstyles have been coming in and out of style since the early 1900s. So starting with the 1950s, for women it was more of a like shorter, shorter curly cut and the men also had a shorter cut with longer hair like gelled up on top, you know, that kind of like side look. The 1960s saw women with lar larger and longer hair on top and the men had a clean cut look or like an Elvis type cut. Elvis. Um, for the 1970s, women had a longer like Farrah Fawcett style cut and the men also had a longer hairstyle, pretty similar to mine. So basically the 70s is just John. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, but now on to weather.
throughout the day we won't really have any rainfall so it's a rain-free day today so pretty nice to go outside but today we will have a nice breeze with no showers, like I said before, with a high of 69 and a low of 55 degrees. Wednesday and Thursday will have highs around 60 and lows around 40. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be our warmest days of the week with highs all over 60 to 72 degrees with lows in the 50s and 40s. I'm Grayson with your weather. All right, we're back and kicking it off with the 80s. That's right. So the 80s saw the men sporting mullets and mohawks, <laughs> while the women had long and like poofy hair or soft curls. Now onto the 90s. The women in the 90s had again long hair, but this time it was mostly straight or in braids. The men were, wore bull cuts and mushroom cuts. Yikes. Agreed. Now to finish it off with the 2000s. Women usually had long, long pinned back hair or like hair in those little small braids while the man had spiky frosted tips and Justin Bieber hair like Aiden. It's not that close to Justin Bieber. It's pretty close. All right, just on to sports. I'm sorry, I was mistaken. Aiden doesn't have Justin Bieber hair. Luke has Justin Bieber hair. But anyways, so as you all saw, there were some very interesting and very questionable hairstyles throughout the years. You can say that again. I'd rather not, but thanks, though. <laughs> anyways, maybe someday we'll do a show where we try some of these haircuts. Hey, that's actually not a bad idea. Like well, that. um, that's for another day. Until then, have a great day, everyone. Peace.